Winkler, and in the ad sent by the Winkler Flyers Junior Club, he's described as a hometown hero. Neufeld first went north to play Major Junior with the Flin Flon Bombers, and then west where he had a 57-goal season with the Edmonton Oil Kings of the Western Hockey League. He turned pro in 1978-79 with the Hartford Whalers of the NHL and had three 25-plus goal years for Hartford before being traded to the Jets during the 1985-86 season. That year, after his arrival, the big right winger notched 20 goals for the Jets. Ray played two more full seasons in Winnipeg before returning to New England partway through the 1988-89 campaign to finish his NHL career with the Boston Bruins. After returning to Manitoba, several teams in the Manitoba Junior Hockey League, as well as the University of Manitoba Bisons, have benefited from his hockey knowledge. Ray, the latest member of our Manitoba Hockey Hall of Fame. I've been a fan. 
fantastic, fantastic mom. You've been a, just a tremendous uh, wife. It's been a privilege to share my wife, uh, my life with you. <laughs> my wife with you. <laughs> the reading is a challenge, I might say. But, uh, you've been a tremendous support, and uh, I completely share this uh, honor with you, Don. Thank you so much. To my mom and dad. For so hard giving all their children opportunities in life. I remember when I came home and asked my father if it was okay if I played hockey and he said yes. I'm eternally grateful for that. To my mom who uh, would listen day after day after day when I sat would come home after school and I'd tell her I was going to be an NHL hockey player and she never once threw a seed of doubt or anything in my mind that that couldn't happen and I appreciate that so much. To my brothers and sisters who are here today, and many of them, and just uh, here in support of me and have been supporting me over the years, I thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. I want to thank my brother-in-laws as well because, you know, when they started dating my sisters, I was able to watch Hockey Night in Canada on Saturday night <laughs> without having a fight over the television. That was a pleasure. <laughs> To my sister Sarah, I must say, you are the biggest and greatest hockey fan that I've ever known in my life. I appreciate you dearly, and uh, you've been a blessing to my whole family, my wife, my kids, and uh, I just thank you so much, Sarah. To, uh, to the many friends that are here today, I have so many friends that are in support of me, and uh, certainly in my career, from Flint Flon to Winkler to Southern Manitoba. Uh, I just thank all of you, all of you for your support over the years, it's been wonderful, your smile, your pat on the back, your thumbs up, your encouragement, thank you so much. To, uh, uh, to Jordy, <laughs> my other buddy, no? <laughs> Jordy, I must say, uh, over the last few years, your, your encouragement to me has been incredibly special, kind and caring, and I thank you extremely much for that, Jordy. Dick and Shirley Stevens for mentoring me over the years, Don and I in our faith in our early years of marriage. And and the wonderful times our family were able to share together. Thanks, Dick and Shirley. You're just awesome people, and we, we love you. To all the players, coaches that I've had the privilege and player, uh, pleasure of playing with, I want to thank all of you from when I was this big all the way up. It's all it's been a been a blast. Phil Lance, you're here today. Uh, thank you so much for being here. You gave me my start in hockey, and in a positive way, your enthusiasm was incredible. Thank you so much. Dan Giesbrecht, I know you're here, the high school program you've done and have committed, Wayne Bussey, what you've done for my life to move me on in hockey. I also want to thank you. I appreciate it. And a lot of the Flint Flon Bombers, I'm getting there guys, winding down. Flint Flon Bombers, Mickey Keating, Jack Turner, for giving me the chance to play at that level, for encouraging me along the way. Thank you. To my billet family, Stu and Emily Robinson, for putting up with me, especially when I came home at 3 in the morning. Uh, Jack, you're not supposed to hear that, but I guess now that's okay, right? Uh, anyway, and uh, my trainer, Mick Mack, for being the, really the best trainer guy I could ever have. All the NHL teams that I played upon, played with, uh, Hartford Whalers for drafting me, Larry Kish for giving me the opportunity to uh, play the minutes I did to establish myself as an NHL player. Thank you so much. Emil Francis, for your honesty and support, for life, leadership, and commitment. You showed me, I brought to the team, I'll never ever forget, the Winnipeg Jets, John Ferguson, for acquiring me from the, from the Whalers. It's certainly the most controversial trade in the history of the Jets. <laughs> See, I will go down in history, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, I want to thank the Jet organization, especially John Ferguson. Uh, being traded to the Winnipeg Jets was a defining moment in my life, uh, personally. I made a huge change in the direction of my life was taking, and that change has impacted my life forever. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Doug Smale, Lori Boschman, for your incredible support during that my years with the Winnipeg Jets. And in closing, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For everything I have, it's because of Him. And He has completely blessed my family and my life more than I could ever imagine. So it's to Him that gets the credit. And I want to thank you guys. I have no regrets. Hawkins has been a wonderful life. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Amen.
Yes, he sounds like a class guy, and he is one of the more approachable athletes that uh, I've ever come across in my days in hockey. I think that uh, it's safe to 